Around 15 years ago, I was working as a real estate agent and I was miserable. It wasn't the right career for me and deep down I knew it. I was so unhappy and so, so stressed out. Knots in my stomach every Sunday night because I knew that tomorrow was Monday and Monday meant going to work to sell real estate. You know, it's a bad sign when you start bursting into tears on Sunday evenings and have the Sunday scaries. Like every Sunday. Yeah, that was me. Obviously, I needed a new career. I needed a big change. But I remember thinking to myself, I've already invested so much time and energy into my real estate career. So, you know, I had to study for the real estate exam and pay money to take the exam and pass the exam. And I had to get business cards printed and I had to bust my ass for years to make connections and get referral clients. I had my office all set up, my computer, my systems, an assistant. Everyone knows me as a real estate agent and they respect me. It's my job, my identity. I've poured so much time into this career and now what? I'm just supposed to walk away? Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. Whatever it is, we're gonna create it right here on Go Time TV. I remember sitting there tabulating the cost of quitting my job. When I tallied it all up in my head, it felt like the cost of walking away from my job was just too high. Maybe you're in a similar position right now. Maybe you've invested 10 years of your life into a career or a marriage or a belief system that is not actually right for you now. Maybe you've invested $10,000 into developing a website that's actually pretty poorly designed. Maybe you've written a hundred pages of your book and then you realize I need to completely rework the structure of this book or this isn't going to make any sense for my reader. I have to go back and start all over again. Maybe you're sitting there like I was tallying up the cost of walking away, the cost of starting all over again, and the cost just feels too painful, too high. You feel like you've already invested so much, so you can't walk away at this point. You feel like, it's too late for me. But let me tell you something. I guarantee the cost of sticking with the wrong path will always be higher and more painful than the cost of walking away. I cannot even imagine what my life would look like today if I'd stuck with real estate. Even though it was making me miserable, I shudder to think. I am so grateful that I found the courage to walk away from that career when I did. And yes, I paid a price for walking away. There was a cost. I had to endure a brief period of uncertainty and reduced income and anxiety. It was not pure fun and delight but the discomfort that I experienced was temporary, not permanent. And there were massive rewards on the other side of it. So let me ask you, what is something that you know isn't right for you? It could be an apartment, a house, a relationship, a client, a job, an identity. What is the cost if you stay? And what is the cost if you walk away? Think carefully and consider which cost is higher. And maybe you'll discover, as I did, that the cost of walking away is actually much, much less than the cost of marching down the wrong path for the rest of your life. If something is really not serving you, you are allowed to walk away. Others have done it before, and you can do it too. You are brave enough, you are resourceful enough, and you can begin something new. It's go time. Okay, so I have a funny story to share with you. If you do decide to go, you need to get your shit in order. And somebody who hilariously advises everybody she knows if it's a relationship you're leaving, my older sister has some advice. Pack your jewelry, meaning get all your stuff together before you make a move. Don't just hastily make moves. And similarly, whether it's a job, moving locations, letting go of an old identity, you want to assess what you need to walk away with style and integrity. And so I suggest, yes, pack your jewelry. I also suggest doing it in some killer shoes. 
you want to walk away in total style. These are two of my favorite pairs of shoes. These are my book tour shoes. And these are Manalo Blonics. Make your decision and do it in style.